Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video. And it's time for a brand new hardback from Boom Studios. And this one is the series called Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers Book 1 Deluxe Edition. I do like how they're quite clear that these are two separate series because what they did, I think it was after 55 or 53, um, they decided to split Mighty Morphin Power Rangers into two separate series, um, which I still find really frustrating till today because I didn't like that concept of restarting because it didn't need to be restarted. It was so early in its Power Ranger journey. Um, and the fact that we're back at 100 and something really does make it feel like, why the hell did you do that? What a waste of time. I was lucky enough I collected all the the legacy variant covers that kept the number in etc but they will still keep it mighty morphin and power rangers so we have matt cook's green ranger on the front boom studios this written by ryan parrot uh ll mckinney uh does um i'm gonna say the unlimited air to darkness and frank Gogo uh, does the Edge of Darkness Unlimited. And then we've got all the fabulous artists intact on the back. Nice and simple price. I, I feel like it's a wasted opportunity. I feel like it's just a barcode. I really do not like the back. But it, it's the same format that we have seen time and time again. I got this on eBay. I, mean, I do have some slight minor damage, but not enough for me to say, do you know what? I need a new one. So I've sort of overlooked it. So let me try and get this into a position where I can actually open the pages freely. This is always the interesting bit with big books. I'll try and be careful of this because I don't want to bend that spine really quickly. Let me just take it out a little bit. No, I can't even do that. Right, okay. There we go. All right, first of all, you've got this whole... Um, and talking about how good the series is done. Um, oh, I always find that this isn't needed because anybody buying this book does not need to read this, etc. Um, wait a minute, let me just try and get my... There we go. I think that's a wee bit better in terms of angle. Now I've got to lift it up again. There we go. There we go. All right, fingers crossed this time. Oh, man, I'm still catching it. So, this... So originally, I think in the original announcement, it said that it would collect 12 issues of Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin. That is not the case. Um, just, I should have started this in a different way. So <laughs> this is just all the bits here, who does what, etc. And then it's chapter one. So they've taken a cover off the issue or a moment in the issue, if I remember rightly. They've just said chapter one, Mighty Morphin issue one. So I do like the fact that they've done that because there is the second book's already been announced which makes sense and that will complete this entire run um unless i'm mistaken it should complete this entire run and then that's ryan's sort of official power rangers mighty morphin run done so originally like i said it collected uh issues 12 issues off each comic it's actually been reduced it's eight issues so power rangers one to eight mighty morphin one to eight and then you've got the two unlimited uh, stories, which both fit into this bigger story, which leads to the Imperial uh, War or the Eterian War, whatever you want to call it. And that is Power Rangers Unlimited uh, Air to Darkness and Power Rangers Unlimited edge of darkness and they both contribute to the bigger story which i do like etc so there's some great runs you've got the omega rangers which are split off into this run in space you have the earth rangers um and they've got this new green ranger and their fine lord said you've got the the background stories which sort of begin in every issue which shows zordon as well you've also got the likes of grace and she, uh, she is the one who, with Billy's help, uh, managed to create this new Green Ranger. And it's just, it is a brilliant run. I'm not going to go into too much detail because, quite frankly, it's been a while since I've read it. So I can't remember 
everything, etc. But, um, you know, it is very good. I mean, you know, hence why I've collected every issue and done individual reviews of everything because I do really enjoy this run. That's great. You got Lord Draken in there. You've got a young astronomer as well, Eclipta, which is great, great stuff. This is that unlimited story. And it's really, really good. Really good. So definitely, definitely worth picking up if you are a Power Ranger fan. And I think you could probably, I say this loosely, probably get away without going to grab the other six hardbacks that have come before that, which are super hard to get, which collect the sort of first 55 issues, plus all the, the annuals, etc., that were during that first period, etc. But this is that sort of that new era. And like I said, it's, it's only going to be two volumes. It's very nicely um, done. And then that's a whole sort of run complete sort of thing. Yeah. So you can let you get this. Frank did a really good job on this story. Is why I really did enjoy this one. And is this going to end here? This probably does end here, actually. No, no, in the spirit off. No, this is um, back to... I can't remember which one was which. I think Power Rangers was... The Omega Rangers and Mighty Morphin were the Earth Rangers. And then, as always, at the back, we've got the, the cover artist. So I'm a sucker for a variant cover. So uh, I was collecting Legacy. I don't get me wrong. I, I, I was collecting Normal as well, but I mainly collected Legacy because I wanted that number in, in my collection rather than this but i probably did collect these i did sell them at the end of it because i thought actually i don't need two runs and they've reverted back to 100 so i'm going to keep my legacy numbers so but yeah i definitely remember seeing some of these etc uh and then i will say if i've got any certain variants that i want to keep so these are mainly the legacy covers you can see legacy cover there and that was by uh Eleonora. i think i said that correctly I may not have, for which I apologize. Uh, Carlina, Carlini. And they did a damn good job, I tell you. Damn good job. So there are some great covers out here. I need to try and remember. So I've got that one. I still need to get this one. I need to get that. That's hard. That's hard I want to get. I did start getting these and then I got, I, I think I got bored of them really quickly. So I decided not to keep them for some reason. And same with these. Uh, they just were... I have a super hard to get, or I couldn't get the the Virgin cover, so I just decided not to um, not to keep them. I did this one, and then I think I sold it, which is a really really nice one of all the ranges. And then I think I got the variant of that, etc. Uh, I think I did get this <laughs> and this, and this. yeah, I remember this. That's that variant that I just mentioned. Uh, I did get this one. That one's very cool. I never noticed that one with, with uh, Matt's head sort of half out. Definitely got that one. Um, that one was uh, went for a ridiculous price. It just shot up to like 100 in, in the US, uh, like $150. Uh, however, strangely enough, so I brought two. I bought one for me, and I managed to get one for a reasonable price. But I could never sell the second one in the UK. For some reason, the second market... For varying comics in the UK is, um, it's really, they don't really do very well. So, hence why I don't do that stuff anymore. Um, then you got the Immigrant Rangers. Not that I'm that person that goes and trying to, tries and does scout. I don't do that. I've got these two covers because these are amazing. This one is on my watch list right now. I really want that one by Jenny. Uh, and I'm trying to think if I got... No, I, f I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. Some nice character designs. So, Sulfram, Sartis and Zordon. The Imperial Reels. Eclipto and Young Astronomer. I do like that. I feel like that works very, very well. I like even even Eclipto, you know, during these early days was quite, um, quite dark, etc. So, just carefully do that. Oh! <gasps> wasn't meant to happen it's okay i can't see any damage i haven't damaged it so yeah so it's a beautiful book and it's got a nice amount of content with 18 issues in there i do feel like this is certainly worth picking up to read um 
it's not as much as what, for example, I'd pay for a Marvel Omnibus, and it's got about half the content. So it is a, a nice value for money in my mind. Um, some will try and sell it for a stupid amount of money, try and get it for for the reasonable. So don't just rush in, have a good look around and, and find the right one. But um, yeah, this is, this is a great book, I, you know, I really do like this book. I'm really glad that it's been released because I was worried that they were just not going to release any more, but they have. And uh, we got the second volume coming out. We've also got the archives coming out next year and Chronicle. So there's plenty more hardback Power Rangers books coming our way. So anyway, if you like my video, please support my channel by subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you to those that subscribe to my channel. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.